What's up guys, Big Bear 37 back at you with a real quick video. And I always start these videos off real quick video. And a lot of times I go longer than I want. I usually plan on six minutes or less. I usually go almost nine, ten minutes. But this is a weight loss journey video, which I've been very passionate about and wanting to do. Um, I try to take notes and write down what I was going to do and try to basically have uh, key notes for me to go off of. None of that worked out. <laughs> so we're going to shoot by the hip and just hope for the best and hope I'm not all over the place. Uh, because this is one that I was very passionate about and I want to put my heart and soul into this. Um, a lot has happened throughout the weight loss journey, as you all have seen. But I want to talk about what got me here, testimonial of sorts. Uh, but before I do, like the new haircut, did get a haircut. Uh, still able to kind of throw the hair back. I kind of went short on the sides, uh, short on the back. Uh, I enjoy it. Uh, I got it for Easter. So happy Easter to all of you um, out there. So now let's get into this testimonial. What got me here? Well, I think we have to go back and talk about what got it all started. The whole journey to a bad house style. Um, when I played football, I was a big kid and uh, probably still a little unhealthy on the unhealthy side, but big. And, and, and I did, but I was athletic. I loved to go out and play sports. I played baseball. I loved basketball. I loved, you know, whatever it was. Football was my passion as a, growing up. I played offensive and defensive line. Um, loved the sport with a passion, with, a, with the love that you would want an athlete to have. My junior year, uh, a couple teammates decided to fight, um, get into a fight in a in a practice, and unfortunately, I took the worst end of it when a helmet was rammed into the back of my knee, tearing some uh, cartilage and ligaments, um, forcing me to have surgery. Um, my physical therapist and my doctor both said, "You will not play your junior year. You need to set out. You need to let it rehab." You need to build up the strength in your knee, and then you could play your senior year. You know, I, I was excited about trying to show off for the varsity coach. I was, I was, this was my shot. I feel, and I said, you know what, you guys are liars. I don't want, I don't believe you. And if I do this on my own, I'll be able to come back faster. So you know what, I quit physical therapy. I said, I'm out of here. Told him where to take that physical therapy and where, how fast to take it there. Um, and I went off and did my own thing. Unfortunately, very shortly after that, I re-injured my knee and my football days were over. Uh, did not play another down football. Uh, I helped out on the team and that was about it. And it was devastating. Um, but shortly after high school, I just kind of said, you know what? I don't have nothing. I don't really have nothing to play for. I don't. You know, and I started getting into a uh, life of excuses, a life of laziness, and started just pushing everything to the side, um, eating what I wanted to, when I wanted to. I was going out all the time to fast food. I was having uh, soda and, and chips, and, you know, I was junking myself up. Um, I became a junkie on junk food, if you will. Um, I was drinking, and now a lot of you are going to say that's a lot of soda, and it was. I was drinking close to six to, between six to eight, two liters of Dr. Pepper a day. And I did that for years. Um, I didn't care no more. I, one life to live is what I was going by. I had no football. I had nothing else. I, I was just going to do what I wanted to do. Um, so fast forward, I allowed all my health to go bad. I allowed it to go south. I stopped playing uh, sport, any kind of sports. I stopped going out shooting hoops. Uh, I stopped riding my bike. Uh, I didn't go on walks. I did none of that. I was done. Uh, when I played football, I kept working out because I wanted to stay in shape for the football season. I didn't have that no more, so I quit it all. Um, I thought I was going to have an opportunity to come back and maybe play some football um, for the local junior college. Uh, but unfortunately, my knee would never let me. Um, and a lot of the unhealthy stuff that I did prior to that kind of was already affecting me. Um, so my football days were over. I allowed myself to continue to get on a bad lifestyle and continue on that road for many, many years. Um, 
I had friends come up to me telling me, you need to lose weight. You need to go on a diet. Here's the biggest thing I tell people. Encourage someone, yes. But don't tell them they need to don't do it. Don't try to force them onto it because guess what? It's never going to help. My wife, she smoked cigarettes for years. She was a heavy smoker. I wanted her to quit. I had stopped. I only smoked for a tiny bit and I quit. I didn't. It was not my thing. And I wanted her to stop. I was worried about her. But I every time I would ask her to stop, she would stop and then go back. Because she never truly stopped herself. Finally, she picked uh, one day, she out of the blue, by herself. She said, I'm done. And she hasn't picked up a cigarette since. And it's been a many, many years. About 13 or so years. Um, she just said, I'm done. She made that choice. That's the same thing when you go on a weight loss journey. You got to make the choice. No one can make it for you. Um, no one can make the choices to not be lazy. No one can make the choices not make excuses. You got to make those choices. <sighs> One day I was at church, um, the church I currently go to, and we were in the old building before we built the new thing. Um, and, and I was in service. And I got, oh, my chest. I was, I was complaining about it. I told Tara, I go, my chest hurts, my chest hurts. Um, we went back to the back and sat in these chairs down by the water fountain. And uh, she went and got the pastor. And he came back and he goes, you need to go in. And I didn't want to. I said, no, I don't like hospitals. I'm not going. He goes, you need to go in. He goes, I'll tell you what, call me. And so I went in and he stayed on the phone with me until about three o'clock in the morning, uh, keeping me calm, talking to me. And that's why I love him. And he's a dear friend of mine today uh, because I don't have someone like that that would just sit on the phone with me until 3 o'clock in the morning making sure I was okay. Um, they, gave, they gave me some uh, nitro or whatever it's called, and uh, the pain started going away. So they were saying, oh, it might be your heart. It might be your heart. That scared me, but not enough. Like, I, I still went back to the old habits. Um, but just a few years ago, I was back in the hospital. Wires running all over the place. Again, I heard, it might be your heart. It might be your heart. And that's when it clicked. But I looked down at me and I said, what's going on? Um, and I'll never forget that. I didn't need no one to take a picture. I didn't need a reminder of that moment. I saw these wires. I saw all this going on. I didn't know if I was going to make it out of that hospital room. And it clicked right here. It's time for a change. So when I got home, I said, okay, I'm going to do some research. And I started uh, uh, doing these fab diets. They weren't working. I did pills, Metabolife, all these different pills. They were making me sicker. Uh, I did go on keto for a little bit, but it was a tiny bit. It was to get me a kickstart. Um, I'm no longer on that. Uh, I'm doing a, more of a just a different approach to things. I'm eating healthier but also cut back on my portions. That was the biggest thing. I cut my portions in half. Now I've cut that half in half, and I'm eating, I'm barely eating food half the time. Like, when I say barely eating food, it's because instead of going back for seconds and doubles and triples, I, I have one plate. And instead of having that plate full to the brim where it's up high, it's a normal portion of food. Um, things like that had to change. And it took the hospital and those wires. I don't know why that day I looked down and I see those wires. And I knew, I knew right here, it was time. I, I, you know, I go, Mark, it's time for a change. It's time to get right. And it's time to stop being stupid. And that's what I had to do. I, and I had to stop the excuses. One of the biggest excuses I used to have, and I got it right here sitting next to me. If this was said in where I couldn't reach it, I would ask someone else to bring it to me. Biggest thing, do not enable someone. Do not do that for them. Because that's the worst thing because I did it for years. Food has changed in my life. I get up and go get the remote myself. I make my own plates. A lot of people go, oh, can you make a plate? I just don't feel like going over there right now. No, no, no. If you want to lose weight, go make your own plate. And make sure you put on it what you can eat. Healthy. Think healthy. Um, but that's the direction I had to go. That's the direction I had to um, to walk in. 
because the direction I was walking in was to my grave. The direction I was walking in was leaving my family and loved ones behind to deal with the pain and suffering of losing me. And I knew that was the direction I was going in. I knew that was the direction I had to make a change. And I did. That's how I came to do start the weight loss journey. And now as I'm doing it, I'm learning more and learning more and learning more. I'm listening to other people who have done weight loss journeys, who have lost weight. Uh, bad, bad, okay, let me get it right. Bad Dog Fitness, a guy that has lost weight. I'm listening to him. I'm listening to other people who I know personally, friends of mine who have lost weight. I'm able to take in, take in what they're saying because they're not pushing it on me. They're giving advice. They're, they're stepping up. They're saying, hey, here, here, let me help you. And I'm able to accept it and say, okay, let's go. Let's go. So that is what I wanted to do. Hopefully I didn't go all over the place. Hopefully this all came out right. Um, but guys, it's one step at a time. Uh, I, I've been reading a book from uh, Justin Willoughby. And he's a guy who um, lost 600 pounds. Uh, had to. He was a kid, 17-year-old, way, way weight. He had to lose weight, and um, he has this program called One Step at a Time. And what it is, it's not really a program. It's just remembering that's one step at a time. You're not going to get there by running or sprinting or thinking you're going to just do it. It's one step at a time. So, guys... I'm going to get on out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this helps someone. Hopefully this all came out right. Um, But nothing but love. Nothing but respect. Remember, today is Easter. Great day. Enjoy your time with your family. Cherish those moments. Uh, Life's too short to to regret, for regret down the road. So cherish those moments. Love you guys. God bless you. And until the next one, this is Big Bear. Peace.